You'll notice that I didn't include uh, any wiring instructions. I'm not really qualified to do that, but I would suggest if you don't know how to wire it, then it's probably not safe for you to be doing this. So be safe, don't do it. I would also uh, like to recommend that you use an intermittent switch, uh, temporary push on, and when you let go, it's off, that type of switch instead of the toggle switch because it doesn't really make any noise. You could easily forget and leave it on. You're going to waste electricity and it does get quite warm if it's left on for an extended period of time. You can make a magnetizer, demagnetizer, out of an old motor. This motor came out of a, a hot tub and the bearings were bad in it, but that doesn't matter because you're going to throw away everything pretty well except for the part you see here you want to keep this these wires in here and this part here and the general housing for this and uh, also hang on to the back plate there's the back plate off the motor the front plate and all the guts inside can just get tossed and that's all you're going to need here's two wires here one will go to one side of your incoming line 120 volt and this will go to the other side of your line. So that's what we're going to be hooking up to a switch to run this thing. Now perhaps I should have gone through this part sooner, but it's too late now. I just thought about making this video. So to cover the front end like this, to kind of protect the coil inside here, I used a piece of composite decking. The composite decking measured five and a half, an inch, five and a half inches and I actually kind of needed that much so it was you can see I didn't cut into the whole thing on the outside diameter of this because I really couldn't so what I did is um, I press fitted this into here and I had a little lip on half an inch of it there's another half an inch of this inside and uh, when it stops here that's uh, pretty solid and it's like I say it's a press fit and that will just protect these coils inside here so that they don't get damaged when you put something in here. It's not so lightly to, to hit those coils. Now I just attached the wires to the back plate. When I took this apart, I marked this one for yellow and this one for black. I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference, but that's the way it was and that's the way it went back. Well, there was an access uh, plug at the back of the motor here I uh, I drilled that out so it would be the right size to put uh, my cable my incoming uh, power from the plug on the wall so I'll, that'll fit that all right and I'll just clamp that in there and we'll run the cable in there I've inserted a round plastic disc in the rear end of this just to make sure that anything pushed too far through doesn't go anywhere near the wiring all right, my demagnetizer is finished. As you can see, we put the little switch over here. You can put the switch anywhere you want, or maybe not even have a switch, just plug it in. Now we've got a screwdriver over here, and uh, it's not magnetic. So the screwdriver happens to come in touch with some magnets here, and all of a sudden your screwdriver is magnetic and you don't want it to be magnetic. See, we've got it so it picks up the little screw now whoa there we go so now we'll turn this on and put the screwdriver in here just hold it there for a minute take it out and it whoa it needs a little bit more let me just give it a little bit more here There we go. And now it won't pick the screw up. So the demagnetizing works. And I'm happy with that. The motor was no good anyway. 